Hey guys, I've got an example here of, of a true torch shader that uh, that just in case that he made and posted a while back. But um, I don't know if you're aware, um, you can actually use it as a child node to the player. So I'll turn it on now. So you can see the outdoors is bright with uh, directional lighting. The indoors is dark because I'm using normal maps. That way you can have very bright outdoors and dark indoors and just use point lighting or different light sources for the indoors. So I'll turn the light on now. And as you can see, that's that's a true, um, that's how a torch shader is, is supposed to work. So notice how it doesn't change the, the lighting of the, the window at all, but only the interior objects with normal mapping. So I'll turn it off and on. It doesn't change the, the the ambient uh, lighting of the background either. It just highlights the uh, section in front of the player. So this is actually a, a true, a proper game uh, torch shader. It might need a bit of tweaking, but I mean it does work quite well, as you can see. Um, this is the Justin Cases shader. Uh, I, I just had to tweak it a little bit to um, get it to, to do this, um, but not much. Yeah, so you can see it's all set up to work on this particular ship only it won't touch anything else I mean yeah this is just an intro I mean it, hopefully some more improvements will come through later either from myself or just in case and um, so this at the moment ignores normal mapping because this is just the torch shader it's not the uh, the, the $20 paid uh, point light shader that has uh, normal mapping I mean, maybe we could mix them to two together, perhaps, to get both of them to work, maybe. Because at the moment, this only uses this light uh, and this particular asset. Notice those doors are not lighted because they're not connected to the uh, the ship at the moment. They're a, a sub-child of the main ship. Uh, but this one ship is one big uh, mesh, and you can see it's pretty good, isn't it? I got this from an Unreal uh, asset for free, actually. Uh, it took a bit of work, but I... The polygons weren't too bad. I got it into uh, copy cube, all right. Um, yeah, so it actually works pretty well. So regardless of the ambient lighting, uh, I've got it to update this shader pretty well. Um, so you can see outdoors. I'll turn it off. It only affects the uh, the ship at the moment. Um, yeah, so it's pretty good, isn't it? Uh, so if you wanted to have a, a, a scene like that in a spaceship, which I want to do eventually, with all the outdoor weather effects and blah blah blah, you can still do all that and have a dark interior unaffected by the directional lighting. It's only affected slightly by the ambient lighting of the game, the game engine, uh, a little bit, so not too much, so it's not too bad really, so it can work quite well for both of things at the same time. So yeah, you can see that it's a... Uh, um, I'll just show you an example where it works fine, but at the moment this particular one, which I'm going to put for free on the uh, download, um, is uh, it's just the basic starting version of it anyway. But it's very good already, I think, quite good actually. The transparency, I don't know if it's going to do that separately. Uh, I've got it to type zero, which is the uh, solid, the first solid type material type so that's why there's no transparency there or there but in the game it does have transparency normally so I'm hoping to somehow get them all to work together I don't know if it will do that but anyway and as you can see there is something finally that a proper torch shader is working um, in the game it's attached to the I'll just show you it's it's there's the ship um, I did have a, 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 a point light torch using the, the uh, Vignette method, uh, but I don't really need to use that at all actually. That's not actually used in this, this shader. The shader does its own lighting. It does a full vertex detection and, and texture coordinates uh, and all that sort of stuff. It does a high level check. And, uh, and all I've done is um, Told, I've updated the code slightly to instead of having a source and destination uh, node I've just made the player or the main camera the source and the destination is the camera target so yeah and a couple other tweaks to get it to work like that it works quite good actually 
Okay, so here's another example here. So it's like bright outdoors, dark interior with the normal mapping, and I press T to turn on the, the torch light. And this whole interior area will be highlighted. There's no attenuation for this particular shader, as in to reduce the brightness over distance, but that can be added in later. Uh, but uh, as you can see, it is highlighting it. Okay, I'll just show you how for this particular shader at the moment, normal mapping is removed. So this is the uh, interior corridor. That's normal mapping. That's not texture doing that. So when I run the uh, shader, just T, it removes all that. So in other words, it's not working with normal mapping. I mean, but there's probably a way around that with um, just in case made some changes with the um, the point light shader, the paid asset. Might be able to do something with that. Um, but yeah, as you can see, there's a gigantic toilet if you need to go, um, go ahead. Um, just kidding. Uh, so that li uh, lights the uh, at distance, the, the, the circle gets bigger, which is good. And up closer to the wall, it gets smaller, as you'd expect. So that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, so it works for starters. It's, it actually is something to work with and to improve on, hopefully. Uh, a fi finally, a torch shader for Copy Cube. Uh, it's, it's be nice if uh, Nico could add this as a default to the game engine, but anyway, um, yeah, it does work to a certain extent. But it, you have to remember, it's not this particular shade at the moment. It's not. It's not into connecting with any other point lights in the game. So if you have other point lights in the game, it'll be turned off when you run this shader. It's only using this internal light source from the shader to highlight this particular game level, this this corridor and this box as well because I've joined them together as one mesh which is the it's interior of a, just a big box and this corridor I've just joined them together uh, so there's the uh, yeah corridor there and there's the box textures there so it's easier that way to just run it on the one asset um, yeah so um, yeah so I'm gonna post that online I hope you can do something with that um, and hope we can see some more improvements. So I've just simplified at the moment. It affects the mesh. Material type is zero. N not too many other things seem to work at the moment, um, apart from zero, zero being this um, solid, solid. That's, that's the first index of the material type, all the way down to different ones down the list. The full list, you can get view Irrelic properties. See, so there's, there's, um, that's the full list here. There's, that's zero. Uh, sorry, Zolod is zero. And then that's other ones down, down this way. There's about uh, what is there? Um, twenty or something? Around about twenty different ones. Yeah. So, you know, you can always experiment with that, I guess, um, as well. But by default, it turns off the normal mapping at the moment because it's going zero which is just solid so it doesn't use the normal mapping so it turns that off and but the thing is you can still get very good textures even without normal mapping um, in the textures using my method of in the previous video of converting the normal map texture and putting that onto the original texture you'll get a very similar out outcome not exactly the same but very similar if you bake those normal map details onto the original texture so you don't really even need a normal map after that but you can just put a, a basic blank small one if you want so that's not affected by directional lighting if you want to like indoor and outdoor dark bright areas um, that's what I do so I'm pretty, pretty sure I'll be doing that for my whole game Saturn 7 is putting all the normal map details baked onto the the main texture and just put a basic single flat normal map texture for the normal mapping so that's not affected by the directional lighting, but it doesn't really need it. When you're using this shader, it can still um, show all much the same detail when I when I do that. I haven't done that for this particular level, but I, I will later on. And then you, you'll see that it's probably not that much difference between when you turn it on and off in terms of the detail. Um, yeah, so obviously. Now, when you turn the light off at the moment, the, the shader is still running. It's still running in the background. I haven't worked out a way to actually turn it off completely. So it's still running, but I've just turned the light to black light, so you can't see any light. Uh, so T is on, Z is off. Uh, yeah, so 
Anyway, that's the start of the first that I've seen of a, an actual proper movable dynamic character, uh, camera torch. Uh, even though it's all, all based off what Justin Case did a while back anyway. It's just been tweaked a little bit. So see if you like that. You can play around with that and um, come up with some nice effects. Uh, anyway, there might be some updates hopefully from uh, sometime in the future on that as well. So I hope you like that. Cheers.